Now, a April is Alcohol Awareness Month, and this number really startled me. One in 10 Americans over the age of 12 have alcohol use disorder. We do have some promising news for those affected by alcohol use disorder, which affects about 10% of our population. Scripps researchers recently found a drug that can reduce alcohol intake by more than half. Dr. Barbara Mason from Scripps Research and Dr. James Dunford from the McAllister Institute here to join us. Thank you both for being with us. Uh, Dr. Br uh, I want to talk to you first about the research that you've done and this drug. Uh, tell us how this works. Okay, well, a group that I collaborate with, basic scientists, identified the inflammation in the brain that occurs with chronic heavy alcohol use right. and thought that could be a good target for treatment. And they studied a group of drugs in a class called PDE4 inhibitors that reduce brain inflammation and inflammation associated with psoriasis. Mm. And of the drugs in that class, Premolas is a new candidate that has fewer side effects than older drugs. And that appealed to me to study as treatment for alcohol use disorder. So 51 volunteers from San Diego okay. with current alcohol use disorder mm -hmm. volunteered for our study. And we found that those individuals who were treated with Premolaz did reduce their drinking by more than half. Wow. And these were people who came into the study with severe alcohol use disorder. Okay. And the drug was very well tolerated and had a larger effect size than existing treatments okay. for alcohol use disorder. So we were very happy that this mm -hmm. might be a new tool in the toolkit to be used in conjunction with behavioral treatments that are really necessary to maintain an alcohol-free right. lifestyle. This sounds like it could have huge implications on helping people who've been struggling. It could, and I'm very hopeful that the next phase we'll see a multi-center trial that uh, moves out of San Diego okay. and, and recruits people from all over the country. So we have a diverse sample right. in which the drug is studied. It's great that you had over 50 people still taking part here locally mm -hmm. at Scripps Research. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to bring you into this conversation, the McAllister Institute. For our viewers at home, first of all, tell us what you do. Uh, McAllister is a uh, nonprofit mm -hmm. that is um, contracts to take care of the Medi-Cal population in San Diego who have substance use disorders. And uh, we care for over 7,500 people in the community right now. Okay, that's a lot of people uh, with uh, that potential for alcohol use disorder, right. abuse disorder. Tell us what that means exactly. I mean, there's a range of this alcohol abuse, right? I mean, right. How do you kind of gauge that? People are probably familiar with the term alcoholism, but what we're really talking about is a, is a disorder. That's what they refer to it today because it's a medical condition. And what is this medical condition characterized by? It's an impaired ability to either slow your drinking or stop your drinking, even in the face of very negative consequences, mm -hmm. which can be to your social life, your job, or uh, your health. And you think about the number one in 10. I mean, I look around, there's 10 of us in the studio and you think, oh, that's a lot of people among us, friends and family. It's right. a struggle internally. They may want to stop, but they can't, right? That's what it comes down to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, remember this is, a, we call it a, a condition or a disease. This is not a weakness of character. Mm -hmm. This is actually a predisposition in many cases that people have. It's a little bit along the lines of diabetes and we've been lacking medical treatments that were effective. And that's what's so exciting about this. Yeah. We do have some medicines that work, but they're very modest in their benefit. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the paper that right. Dr. Mason published with her colleagues, it was very exciting because this is a different, this might be a new key that unlocks a different pathway to the, um, to the uh, to this really mm -hmm. complicated disease that affects so many people. Right. I mean, 95,000 people in the country That's pass away lot. from alcohol use they every year. They die from it, yeah. Right. And did, I'm so glad you mentioned it. It's not a weakness in character. It's not their fault. Uh, and to have a drug that could potentially help them give any kind of assistance, I think, would have huge implications here in San Diego, right? Oh, my goodness, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> the number of people that we see with alcohol use disorder, probably we're looking at the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stigma. People don't really want to necessarily identify themselves. Uh, but if there's a medication that can help people get over the hump to reduce their drinking, that's what one mm -hmm. of the key things. And then as Dr. Mason said, we're not saying that this is the only thing. It's not just a pill. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of treatments that we try to provide with mm -hmm. counseling and uh, 
Alcoholics Anonymous and all the other things that mm -hmm. kind of constitute uh, a, a support system. Programs. Okay. Yeah. Thank you both for being here. I know we could talk to you about this a lot longer, mm -hmm. but we're out of time, unfortunately. But it's great to see you this morning. Thanks Thank so you much. for the work that you've been doing. We'll be right back after this break.